Kindi landing site is a major hub of silver fish in Uganda. Over 30 tons of fish are collected in this store every week. This follows the value addition and export opportunities for silver fish dealers. <laughs> Fish traders say making powdered silver fish has helped expand their markets, including schools that use the product in the porridge for early learners. We are going to make powder and make parking. We are going to make grams of beef, grams of chicken, and grams of beef. We are going to make supermarket, we are going to make a farm, 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 but when the fishermen met the Minister of Agriculture official, they asked for more international markets. So nge mini muja fejigazi yemu, na ya katale, tucha ina katono. Kumanga supermarket zetu sapra inga, tucha ina yontono, nga satu. Na masomero getu sapra inga, na goma tono. We are now working on the guidelines, we are working on the standards of how we can penetrate other markets, especially outside uh, Uganda. The German International Corporation under their responsible fisheries business chain, which has been training fishermen on post-harvest handling and value addition, says it's into talks with the CMAP Food and International Market Platform to take on Uganda's silver fish. We are working together with an international worldwide fish trade platform. Um, it's called Seafood Map, where people can trade fish from all over the world and the big buyers are there. You know, the only thing is you have to prove that your fish is harvested uh, in a sustainable way. So for example, by involving the communities, by not doing harm to the environment, but following reg regulations. And then you might get a higher price than what the rest of the market gives you. It's a special target, you know, to kind of trade on this platform. And we are trying at the moment to get Ugandan small or medium-sized enterprises, maybe not small but medium-sized enterprises, to trade internationally. We have the big factories already, they are there, you know, they penetrated the market in Europe. But we want to bring now the medium-sized enterprises to go international, to get more money. Kamana Ivan Walnyolo, NTV Business.